Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning, morning. Uh, David, all the info's in the description, buddy. All the info's in the description. Um, okay, if any of you are watching this as a video rather than the live stream, there's going to be a race after this. I know it's not in the title, but basically this is going to end. If you're just here for the the Samuel Bikilo thing, that's going to end in around 20 minutes time or so. Um, so yeah, just giving you a heads up if you're just watching that, that you can uh, you can stop watching. I'm then going to do um, a race at 9.30. So this live stream will keep going. I'm just telling you now that the video is going to video is going to end if you're just watching the sound what the kill thing. So got it. Cool. Let's smash it. So, um, I don't know if any of you saw my last attempt. I just about scraped five minutes just over a month ago. Um, my best ever for 7 watts per kilo is like 12 and a bit minutes or something. Um, <coughs> well, 13, it depends. I did 7.2 for 12, so. Um, basically, it's a goal of mine to try and stretch that as far as possible. Um, it's nothing like, it's not an ego rub. Nothing, nothing at all like that. It's basically me trying to push myself to another level. You gotta give yourself some goals. It just happens to be mine, so don't hate it. It is what it is. Have to uh, do a U-turn. <clears throat> We're heading for the climb. Amazing to see you all here already. <laughs> Fair play, you really. Cheers, John. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I um. I I have a. I don't know. I have a good feeling about it. But uh. Also, like I'm pooping, bricks. Because. It's just not getting away from it. When you're in erg mode, because you're keeping everything like controlled, everything's the same, we can, uh, every single time I've done this, so, there's no getting away from it, so. It's real tough. Um, you know, those of you that are saying, you can only do sound once per kill for a minute or whatever, like, it's all relative, isn't it? Like, you know, it's my strength, so. You know, don't don't make this out to be like uh, like I'm putting you down. I'm trying to bring you up by doing stuff like this, which is a weird way of doing it. I know, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I've had a really good week. I set new power PBs on Thursday, so obviously only two days ago I did I did a climb where I did uh, eight watts per kilo give or take like 0.1 for three minutes um, might have been able to stretch out the three and a half or four but you never know do you but um, it bodes well you know it bodes well so maybe I'm thinking here like even if I do six minutes that's gonna be like a big plus um, but you never know you never know you know you never know yeah, I encourage you to try a similar thing to this if you fancy something different. Um, it's really interesting uh, how you can do like your own version of this. Uh, basically, you know, it's a time to exhaustion. 
So I'm just emptying the tank until I've literally can't turn the barrels anymore, and that's why your Urgamorder is being used. And I know Urgamorder, to a certain extent, is probably going to increase failure quicker. Um, but it is what it is. I'm keeping things the same, so. Nice one, George. Nice one. Uh. Uh, I don't want to go this way yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Sorry if I don't talk too much. Now. Huh? You know that zone we talk about? It's time to get into it. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Do I look at the clock or ignore it? Thing is, with this kind of test, it's almost quite motivating to look at the clock, especially if you're breaking your record. So we'll see. Fan at max power. Music on. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't need a hill to do it on, but you have the Zwift strap. You have the Zwift strap segment, so extra motivation, no? Let's go. Short little effort, uh, power just to build myself into it, so no other reason. There's the banner. <laughs> We've got a Spotify playlist, simply called Beast Mode, not Ed Mode. Let's go. Getting shivers, getting shivers. I think the coffee was a bit strong. Here we go. Perfect. Let's have it.
Come on. Come on, you're gonna kill somebody one day. Oh. I looked alright till that last uh, 30 seconds. That's a PB by two minutes. Well, two minutes and five seconds if you're gonna split hairs. So in a month and a bit, I managed to hold it for two minutes longer. Well, you know, give or take. I mean, that's not gonna be like bang on because fatigue and everything else comes into it, but. Oh my word. Hang on, I'm not gonna pedal because I'll ruin the graph. Oh. Anybody else find that like it's so hard when, you know when you're getting right in your limit and you get out of the saddle when you're indoors? It just feels so weird, like. Out the saddle outside, and you can just like you can just change down another gear, just go for it. Indoors, you're like you're restricted to where you are on the static bike, but uh, that's no excuse. It's just it just feels weird. I would put down I would put that increase down to um, down to a lot of things. Obviously, um, I mean since. When I did the last test about a month ago, that was uh, that was basically all off the back of like what I would call all my base period. Um, whereas in the last four weeks, three weeks really, I've had some intensity in my legs. I've done some actual structure training, and um, I've seen that improvement. But like, don't compare that to what maybe you'd get uh, or what you might experience because I'm still a long ways off my best. A lot of you will be trying to get to new fitness and you're probably in one of your best shapes of your life now whereas I'm still not in my best shape you know I've been there once so I'm kind of making my way back so that's the difference between like me and you for example um, looks like we had new all time from five minutes to to seven minutes ten so new all time obviously with the mode on so um, in fact, it goes even further than that. Like it goes to almost seven and a half minutes, even with the drop off. So, absolute magic. Absolute magic. Hang on a second, I can't see the chat. So, plus two minutes, five seconds on the last month. So was it seven minutes, two seconds? Well, call it seven minutes. Seven minutes. Nice one. Nice one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Er erg mode. You're right. Erg mode is probably not the best thing to use here. You know what I mean? But um. Uh. But at the end of the day, you know, I I'm just trying to keep it as as consistent as possible. Like. Like Tom says that if I was to go outside now, tomorrow, you know, I might be able to beat that. Um, but 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 for the sake of consistency indoors for the time being, um, we're just yeah we're just going we're just going with erg mode. So uh, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. But thank you. So if if you're here just for that effort, I appreciate you uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, we're heading over to do a race now. Um, so, Zach, I think you're in the race, aren't you? <laughs> um, uh, it is a little bit, yeah, Chris. So, really what I've seen over the last couple of weeks. Um, hey Chris, how you doing? I'm well, thank you pal. Hope you're well too. Um, yeah, what I was saying was, uh, so I've done my first kind of proper block of intensity in the last three weeks. And that's what, um, I guess has kind of shocked my body into a lot of it. Um, but you're right, you know, the, the, be the benefits of what I've done over the last three weeks 
they won't have fully materialized now you know it's far too soon it's only well like i said it's only a couple of weeks so um we're looking at you know hopefully that's the whole thing like hopefully i'm looking to peak it around uh end of june july time and then i'm going to go through another base probably uh and get ready for the hill climb champs um and the hill climb season so um so yeah it's uh Yeah, if you're looking for the playlist I was just listening to, if you want to be able to do that kind of effort, <laughs> um, the playlist on Spotify is called Beast Mode Hip Hop. Um, that's that's the actual specific one. It's pretty good actually. It's not all like, it's not all like bang bang bang. You know what you dissociate, uh, what you dissociate with it. <sighs> so like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you're just here for the Sam Walker Heel effort. If you're here for the race, um, enjoy. Yeah, that's right. I, I kind of... The, th the thing is with... The trouble is with having that 20 minute block like I had there is that I... Um, what I really should have is like four or five minute blocks. All, all of the same power, but then like mentally tick them off. And by doing that... I give myself like a checkpoint. So I guess we've already surpassed. Um, we've already surpassed that uh, five minute checkpoint. But to be honest, you don't want to be like aiming for something. Like, I mean, t to be quite frank, it probably looks like I just sat up at the seven minute mark there, but it's very, um, an effort like that is very difficult because you can always go back and say, I could have gone harder, I could have gone longer. But, um, you know, you usually it's not the case. Like, you, you know, you, you're giving everything. Um, you just like, I was, I was like, I was already on the limit at that point, you know, and uh, it was just a case of like, pick a number, let's aim for it, and then once you get to that number, let's pick another number. I did actually say I'll go for two minutes, so I'd get the eight minute mark, but I got to like six and a half minutes, and I was like, well, I'm going well over now. I mean, you know, there's a big jump there, a two minute increase is a, is a big jump uh, already. So if I'd just gone to, to a minute, if I just go to six and a half minutes, or a minute and a half, or I'm, I'm already, you know, well over that mark, um, and you can't expect like massive increases all the time. However, what I would say is, you can really float off the confidence. Um, you know, when you get over that mark. So, say if you do the same kind of um, session that I just did, and you get over that five minute mark that I did, you know, and I know that that's my personal best last time. Once you get over that mark, you're like, your brain starts to like change, your mood starts to change into something else and you're like, like, I've surpassed it, what can I do? And it fills you with a bit of confidence that like, no matter where you get to now, it's already better. So every second is a second longer. Um, and it's even, it's even harder, I think, to like, I don't know, you just... Just, it just drives you. I think it's even harder to get to that point though. You've got to get to that halfway point first before you can change your attitude maybe. It's a combination of lots of things, Martin. You know, when you when you absolutely hit the wall, 
when you absolutely empty the tank. Um, it's not all physical. You know? It is mental. It doesn't matter what people say. Um, you know, when you empty the tank, you don't technically empty the tank. There's a lot of like limiters that are placed on your body, like because of your mind. You know, the central governor it tries to prevent you from like basically doing harm to yourself. Um, but saying that, you know, you can go beyond that point and, and bury yourself. Um, for me then, that effort, I parked up because of, a, of multiple things. Uh, mentally, um, you know, I, 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 there was things going on in my head. I was like, I was like, I've just gone past the point. Like, how long am I going to hold on for? Then I see my heart rate, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting near 180. I'm pretty much at max now. How long can I hold this rate for? Then I'm like, I'm struggling to keep on top of my breathing. So it's all these things that kind of like exacerbate. Is that the word? They like multiply the sensation. So if you're, if you're on that downward spiral, it's very hard to come out of it, especially when you're doing a max effort or you're going very, very deep. So my legs were starting to um, just not be able to fire and keep up with the demands of the effort you know and they started to slow down and then I started to shift on a saddle you know it's lots of things like it's not just like say say for example you fail an interval you fail a workout you're, or you do a max effort There's a million and one things that cause you to stop where you stop. It exacerbates, I think I said. Although I'm not sure how, what that word means. <laughs> ah, got it, Bertie. Yeah, there's a million and one things. So when, when you get to that point, um, you know, you're basically like... Uh, the, you become very I like to describe well it's not a great way to describe it but you become very annoyed by the smallest of things you know the mo the song that you're listening to you know in the car and you sing along to and it's like an absolute banger if you have that playing while you're literally on the ragged edge all of a sudden that annoys you and you can't listen to that song all of a sudden the comfiest pair of shorts that you ever wear when you're on the ragged edge, they become the most uncomfortable pair of shorts you've ever owned. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, these things, they play on you. And so, they, they like I say, a million and one things, they all add up to, to cause you to stop. You know, things become uncomfortable, basically. Everything becomes uncomfortable. Even the most comfortable things become uncomfortable. I need to chop that out of the video and create an own video itself. That's the one, Lord, you've got it there. Exactly. a bit. Phil and uh, Scott were supposed to be doing the... Um, it's supposed to be a... Sportif on today. In my net. Loads of climbing. Um, but they both bailed out on it because of the weather. But I think it's been cancelled anyway. Ah, cheers, Charlie. <laughs> Is that a copy and paste? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Paul, exactly. Everything becomes uncomfortable. Well, that, that's a small thing, Martin, but, you know, that that can annoy the heck out of it, you know? Hey, Cycle Nut, how are you doing? That's why I turn the chat off when I'm on the absolute edge, yeah. <laughs> well spotted, Michael. You didn't have to bring that up, but there we go. <laughs> In fact, uh, Paul Hamlet, weren't you supposed to be doing the uh, event today? In my head. Or not? 
Thank you, Ian. Thank you, I appreciate it. Getting there slowly, are we? Well, that's not slowly, that's two minutes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. oh, nice one. Glad you love the uh, tempo of surges. Yeah, the, the event they were supposed to do, I think it was cancelled, um, but I think they did pull out. Um, I'm doing the struggle deals with, I think Paul Hammer's doing it. Phil is supposed to be doing it. Phil love it. By grace and not mercy. Uh, Scott's not doing it. I totally agree with you, Ian. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Failing workouts. Funny enough, um, I did a couple of efforts on Thursday. And I, I did a video on it, but the video's not coming until tonight or tomorrow. Um... And I talk about like the difference between, and I don't talk about it, I just mention it. I mention the fact that, you know, we don't really, uh, we're referring to a failed worker. You, there's always a positive, isn't there, in every workout, like, you know what I mean? Um, there's always a positive in every workout. Forecast looked awful. I know, yeah. Forecast is, well, it is horrendous, yeah, I have to say. It is horrendous. So we're going to have an indoor day today. We've already had a bit of success there with that session. Looking forward to this race. Zach is here, so you might have a bit of uh, team tactics to play. But there's going to be quite a few good riders here, I think, so. Anyway. Um, what, I, what I'm going to do for the struggle deals I know some of you here so Tommy, David uh, what I'm going to try and do is do a bit of research on the climbs, the KOMs on the route and if we're doing any of the 100 climbs which is what it's kind of you know, it's the holy grail list of all the best climbs in the UK I'm gonna try and take the KOMs on those during during the ride, so that'll be like my little goal of the day. <laughs> um, it won't be easy, obviously, because it'll be a hundred mile ride at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Scott. <laughs> Zach, Zach's gonna attack straight away, I reckon. Zach's going for it. Thank you, Simon. You you love it, Simon. You love it. That's why you do it. <laughs> cool running. Yeah, sorry, David. I mean, you know, I'm, pro I'm probably going to have to give myself a target, aren't I, for the event, so, you know. It's not a bad show, right? Yes, uh, small small starts. That is going to be weird. Although, saying that, it's probably going to be better having small group starts because, you know, you get to start with the people you want to start with. And um, you also, like... Well, it's it's not carnage, is it? At the end of the day, it's not carnage. Um. Yeah, Michael, come and watch. Come and watch. Come and record record yourself on on the climb, and then I'll include it in the video. <laughs> Morning, Mike. <laughs> lies, Zach. Lies, lies. <laughs> Zach's already attacked at the gate, I know. Oh, we've got a back belt rider in here, Mr. Bank. Oh, Nick, we've just finished the Samwat Bikilo effort, by the way. Can you guess what we did? You, you guessed 6 minutes 30. We actually did 7 minutes.
It's always good. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've done this uh, this course. I do enjoy this course though. The uh, Bigfoot Hills. It's got got lots of everything. Okay. Oh, nice one, Tommy. Spring jersey, all yours. We look after you, Michael. I always get caught out here because of the fast start and the big group. Guess what? I've entered a race um, next Wednesday. Two 30 minute criteriums, about an hour's ride away. So I'm going to be doing those. I got a 50 mile road bike time trial on Saturday, a week today. Looking forward to that as well. Hopefully I could go sub two, sub two hours on a road bike. Group hasn't split yet. So because this week is my easier week, I've done, done significant less riding this week. In fact, 50%. The last three weeks I've done about 20 hours a week. Um, but I was more focused on the actual interval. So the 20 hours just kind of were a natural side effect of my, uh, of my training intensity. Um, so this week, I've only done 10 hours. Um, I say only, obviously. Lots of you struggle to do 10 hours, but I'm just saying what I'm doing today, the main body of today was actually the 7 watt per kilo test. So a big tick on that. Um, and so um, this race is more just a uh, bit of a fun thing to do on a wet day uh, and Charlie's out shopping so <laughs> that's right Tommy yeah the um, purpose built circuit in Pembury Country Park um, no Scott there is a time trial bike um, in the UK actually this year but well, last year as well They've really taken off a lot. Um, they now run road bike only events alongside the main event. So what's really cool is if you do it on a road bike, you know, you do your own event. You know, you might start like an hour before the main event, but you get to compare your time then to the, the, the main event. So 
If I can do half of the courses on a dual carriageway, so I'm kind of thinking if I can do a two hour ride, I'd be like good enough for a top 20 in the TT, uh, <laughs> in the time trial bike division. So that's my goal, a sub two hour. <laughs> you expect a win, Tommy. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to use the hill or not. There is a hill on it. It's not really a hill. It's a bit like a sprint. Um, yeah, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. It won't be that bad. But there's not many people entered, by the way. Only about 20 people have entered. Um, it's not very often, to be honest, that you get a elite, um, elite category crit. Criterium down this far uh, in West Wales. You usually have to travel like towards Cardiff, closer to England, if you want to ride an elite crit. Um, but they put this on as like a test. So, yeah, take advantage of it, isn't it? Take advantage of it and see how Zwift racing translates to crit racing. <laughs> There's a local rider, doesn't live that far away, who um, I mentor and uh, he's racing as well, so we might have a bit of fun with uh, some team tactics because currently with the, those races, because they run under British Cycling Rule, I'm actually riding for my old club, Binyo Cycling Club, rather than... Um, rather than like... A professional team. So basically, it's the first. It's the first time I've raced for my club in a proper British cycling race since uh, 2011. Hey Josh, I hope you're well too, thank you. <laughs> I take off like I do in Zwift. <laughs> it's only a 30 minute race, so I'm sure I could, couldn't I? <laughs> Let's hope nobody's watching. Did I make any position changes to my bike for the time trial? Yeah, so I did the time trial the other night. I came second to a, a full decked out time trialist. Um, he almost set a course record, I think. But uh, he's had wind tunnel tests and everything. Actually, I, I spoke to him about the 50 mile time trial next week and I'm not, because it's gonna be about two hours, I'm going to take the water bottles off my bike and I'm gonna have my um, my bladder my camelback bladder down the front of my skin suit and then the um, the tube coming out of my arm and my skin suit uh, apparently it's more aerodynamic um, but I'll do anything to obviously break sub two on a road bike That's right, Josh. <laughs> but um, no, on Thursday night, I made no changes to my bike apart from um, I use my Campagnolo Bora 35mm uh, wheels. So uh, you never see me ride those. I only really ride them when it really matters. Um, <laughs> nice little mod. So, um, so yeah. I didn't make any changes.
fact, they're here actually. They're in the wheel, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't ride them at the National Hill Climb Camps. Bit too heavy for that. By the way, I've had my date for my backs in. Guess what? It's on the same day as the Struggle Dales. So I've got to uh, reschedule the jab. Um, but, uh. <laughs> did I pop a wheel in to get that off? Whoa! <laughs> Charlie's not amused, there's just wheels everywhere, there, mate. I know. Time flies, Lord. Time flies. Looking forward to this year's though. And lots of other things as well. She is having really good fun. Charlie's after a new bike as well, actually. She's had that bike for, I don't know, 13 years maybe. <laughs> so we need to get her a new bike. Particularly now she's not living off student loan anymore. When am I kicking off? <laughs> I don't know, Zach, what, what are you fancying? Do you just want to make it hard? Um, I mean, I was thinking of just kind of, I don't know, racing every climb, but. Huh? He's gonna send me my bloody bikes first, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, Lord, I've tried, I've tried it, I've emailed a few times, I've even sent a text. I know, Lord, I'm just as desperate as you are. The last I heard, the hill climb bike was uh, off somewhere getting like a spray paint or something.
To be fair, Zach, I'm, uh, I'm feeling the sandwich per kilo effort, but I'm, uh, I don't know, it's a weird one. I also feel very warmed up. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Michael. Stringing out now, in it. You've always got to be like at the front in this uh, this part. So dangerous, isn't it? That blob at the front is just so quick because everyone's keeping the pressure on because they don't want to miss out, like. Yeah, <laughs> when me and Zach command it to split, it'll split. I don't think I've got the legs now after uh, after that effort. I uh, pretty much emptied the tank back there, so we'll give it a go. But I've definitely taken the edge off. <laughs> I've definitely taken the edge off. <laughs> I missed you on a Tuesday night, Lord. <laughs> I missed you on a Tuesday night. Been a while since we've actually done a stream like this. Morning Nick. Morning Agnes. Tremendous ride the other day. Long time in the saddle. Zach is splitting the field for us.
Bye, Zach. Nice, Zach, nice. Strong pull, that one. I didn't actually, Nolan. <laughs> I didn't actually. Quite warm in here. Need some more fan. I haven't got a window open because it's a storm outside. <laughs> Splitting again. There's a group of ears off the back there, look. That blo the blob of red. <laughs> I know, I had a message from a uh, local group who was going to head out today, and they were like, uh, someone said, oh, I think I'm going to ride on Zwift. And someone said, what is Zwift? It was a, it was a joke, obviously, but... Morning, Niels. Oh, no. Panic over. I know, so, so subject nails. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, actually, Robert. It's a good way of putting it. For me, Zwift never, like, substitutes, you know, completely what I want to do outside, but it's a means to an end. Good question, Michael. I don't have the punch to get away. 
I don't I don't have the punch to get away. I was struggling just to get up there with the fastest rider, so. Hence why I attacked where I attacked earlier on in the race. I don't know whether you saw that. <laughs> More to come. <laughs> Paul's stirring the pot already. <laughs> Good luck up here, Zach. See how it pans out. Same here, Stu. Same here, Doctor Who. Horrid. Yeah, Belgian. <laughs> to be fair, he did come onto the stream afterwards. So that was good of him. Looks like there's no power-ups in this race.
Zach's away. This group is still massive, what's going on? Cheers Michael. It's nice when you mix up the leagues, I think. It's nice when you can race with you know, lots of different people. Yeah, we've got a back battle right up the road. Zach. Back battle community rider. <laughs> About an hour left of racing. I can't remember where this route goes. Still not a bad day though, Doctor. Cheers, Phil. You have to rewind, I imagine. Oh. Cheers, Paul. Why do we go after the volcano? Is it back through Titans?
I'm not gonna stay away, don't worry. Just get an effort in. I'm not gonna win the race, am I?
I'm blowing. Hopefully I got enough of a gap for the top though. And then I can sit in. Zach, don't attack. <laughs> Yeah, don't rush it, Lord. We're in no mood for uh, kits just yet. Be patient on it. Be patient on it. I'll explain better when I'm not flat out. Oh. Looks like it split a bit more there. Oh, I gotta keep my legs moving. Good job, Zach. Little sprint there.
I saw Zach did a couple of sprints yesterday, so if it comes together in a group finish, Zach's gonna be sprint like primed. If anyone tries to get away, I'll shut it down. We'll shut it down. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper now. Small group now. Very small group. It might it might actually be a good time for Zach to counter the bottom actually, given how small this group is. Trouble is it's a long way, although saying that, Zach, you were supposed to do a time trial today. So it might be a good like 40 minute effort for you if you were to get away at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was like a matchbox, that was. That wasn't a match. Not in here, man. So the video that I'm um, bringing out tonight about my uh, new best three minute effort I did on Thursday and the um, 15 mile time trial I did in the evening where I also um, set a new best power over 33 minutes. Is there anything you'd like to know about that? Because I'm recording a voiceover this afternoon. Um, anything you'd like to know about the effort or the time trial. Um, oh, flip the heck, it's warm in here. How old Davis is in this group? It would be a good time trial for Zach, like a good time trial effort. 30k, it'd be like 40 minutes, something like that. Like I said, because we've had a hard climb, and because we're now only like a group of 15 or 12, I don't know if anybody would actually follow it. Maybe on the... Do my army impression on the voice or... Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper now! The group is caught up now. The uh, group has got pretty big. Bum. Not ideal. Well, Shani. <laughs> Chopper now. Anyway, enough of that.
It's on a Donkey Kong. Now nah, nobody could do a day of toll. Hey Arthur, how you doing? This whole life Donkey Kong. It's not actually. I'll be back. Can't do the I'll be back. Get to the chopper. I don't know, I'm out, I'm out of phrases now. I'm out of phrases. There's a six watt per kilo attack going on here. Someone's gone off the front. <laughs> Graham with a helicopter emoji. <laughs> on a chop, chopper emoji. Most of these films came out before I was even born. Well, I don't know, maybe actually. 1994? When, when did that come out? I don't know what we're going to do with this group. I was ready for Zach's attack back there. I was ready to block the whole road. Weave across the road for him. But uh, somebody else has attacked now, which isn't a bad thing. It means that there's a bridge possibility, but... I don't know, this group is like a perfect size at the minute to be like... Kind of in that in-between mode. Like, they, you know, if an attack goes... You know, people are like, oh, the group, is it big enough to, like, shut it down? Do you know what I mean? So, so some people won't go with it. Um, because of the blob size. Uh, <laughs> Dawson's crew. <laughs> Hey, we're watching the Bad Batch now, so every uh, every Friday, Disney Plus, the Bad Batch, Star Wars. I miss the Mandalorian though. Life's not the same without it. I still know what's a Rambo films. I know, I know, you can unsubscribe right now. I still haven't watched the Rambo films. <laughs> you enjoy Jersey Shore. <laughs> Love it. I've not watched it. I know what it is though.
Ah, uh, yeah, bottom of Die Hard, yeah, 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 yeah. Sacrilegious. <laughs> I know that was a bit that was a bit devastating. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, it's Captain America and Winter Soldier now, isn't it? <laughs> Charlie's just arrived, she has shopping. I repeat. She has food. We need like a serving hatch, don't we? Right here in the wall. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Didn't realise that was a spoiler then. <laughs> I thought it was common knowledge. Charlie says hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, our Lord's happy now. <sighs> Charlie stars in the uh, next backpedal race recap video. I know, Ben, I know. Give me time. Yeah, they sold out the chocolate. <laughs> to make up for it somehow. It's such a weird course, this, because it's so fast in a group, isn't it? Like, it's so fast. Aside from the actual main climbs, there's so much flat on it. I hope so, Lord, I hope so. I'm on it, I'm on it. Ah, there's two bolt racing team riders in there, is there? Oh no. Uh, 
Good plan, Zach. Lord's just uh, Lord's just said that there are a few guys here who may beat this in a straight up sprint. Uh, although saying that, I won't put, put it past you. You're quite explosive, so. Um, I don't know, like. I'm pretty cooked, I've got to be honest. That seven up the kilo effort and then the, the volcano has fried me a little bit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Michael. I think uh, it depends, doesn't it? Oh. I think it depends. Um, how you ride, but uh, certainly helps if you have a high FTP, obviously. Ah, oh, there's three of you, Simon. You're watching the stream. You cheat. <laughs> <laughs> we have somebody racing who's watching. No. <laughs> 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 I've just seen you as well, Simon. I've just seen you in the group. No. We can't we can't talk tactics now. Lumineck. We're gonna have to use uh, telepathic waves now. Oh, I literally only just made it over there. Oh. Isn't it amazing how yeah, I could do like a, a four hour ride and then do efforts like this and feel fine. If I do one max effort or empty the tank doing, uh, doing that earlier. I'm just a shell of a man. Well, I'm not a shell, but it's like it's completely different. You know, completely empty in the tank for a. <laughs> Lord, it's it's more ancient than the Mayan ruins. Me and Anne's our our language. Covering good, but I feel like I'm lacking uh, a bit of zip. No, 
to be fair, it's like, it's probably one of the longer races you can do with such a savage effort on the route as well. It's a very polarized course, in the sense that you're either going like, uh, particularly in this division, like either very easy or very hard. That's what kind of takes it out of you. What's that about, Rod? Those zip wheels just uh, slid into the chat. By the way, has nobody noticed my haircut? There's nothing on my head anymore. Did it myself as well. Oh, that's true, Lord. <clears throat> oh, ready for this to be over. Legs are getting into that state of uh, um, soreness now, where they're very tender, <laughs> very tender. Well sign on it. Well, don't unicorns come, don't rainbows come from unicorns, Matthew? If they do, then how can you choose between them? Without unicorns, you'd never have rainbows. Unicorns are just the business, and they? They're just the best things in sliced bread, they're unicorns. It's like the chicken and the egg question.
My little boy. <laughs> I'm using specialised S-Works Venge, I think. Oh, bacon sausage. Uh, bacon, I think. <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay, fair enough. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the felt um, bike is one of the most aero time trial bikes. Good response says Zach. Oh it like a car bonnet there you were. I reckon I'm just about gonna get over this KOM if I stay in this group. With uh, the amount of hitters here. I reckon I'll just about get over. If I don't, fend for yourself, Zach, fend for yourself. 
See if I can recover quickly. Anyone see the Volta Algarve at the minute? Zach is like our uh, Ethan hater at the minute. Attack. Up, 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 up. In, 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 go on. <coughs> go on, buddy. Then it goes negative. It's splitting behind. Ones and twos. Pressure is on, Zach. Nice. Nice. Still got the gap, Zach. Still got the gap and it's bunching up now. It's bunching up behind. Come on, buddy. Nice. No reaction from behind. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Big kick over here, Zach. Big kick. Big kick. Easy. You got a little gap still, you got a little gap still. 
Keep with it. Keep with it. Two coming across, but make them work for it. Make them work for it. He's splitting up massively now. Everyone's in ones. Trying to get across, but... That was a tough one, Zach. Good job. Effort, buddy, effort. Let's go. Come to it. <laughs> What's wrong with my heart rate monitor? That's my heart rate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, Howell. Yours to lose. Yours to lose. All win. Nice one, Zach. Nice one. That was a great race. That was a great race. Went long, because I had no idea what was going to go on behind. So, when in doubt, lead it out. Um, you can't go wrong. Um, <clears throat> at least you gave it a go. But, uh, yeah, like, how well coming across there was like, to be honest, that wasn't the most ideal situation because Howell's one of the strongest sprinters in the group, so he was wise to that move. So it was a great race from Howell. Um, but yeah, uh, if, if we'd gone early and we had the gap, I could have forced him to do more work, but of course, because he came across in the last K, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't obliged to do anything, so. Um, so yeah. Uh, it was a good race from him. He played it well at the end, but uh, I think I played to my strength there at the end, even though I didn't really have anything left to give in that sprint. So, yeah, D Davis. Um, no offense to Howell, uh, Howell Davis. He's a slightly older rider. Um, I think I'm right in saying that he has quite a low heart rate. Um, so, like, don't just look at that and assume, just think, like, that's weird. Um, you know, generally speaking, an older rider will have a lower heart rate. So, yeah. And, you know, in the same vein, Zach, what's your max heart rate? Like, 205 or something? So, you know, Zach's heart rate there, 167, you know, that's, that's the equivalent of me being 144 when my max is 180, you know, it's that sort of, it's that sort of thing, so. Oh. Um, well, to talk to you a little bit about the end, basically, the guy who was already off the front, um, I decided to jump across. I was going to attack there anyway, but by having him as a carrot, um, it was it actually made it easier for me to uh, pace my effort to get across to him. When I got across to him, I noticed that Howell had made an effort, um, so I could see Howell was trying to bridge across to me. Um, I went straight around the guy when I caught him uh, to get over that little lump and I went down like that slight descent, it's not a descent, it's like minus one and uh, yeah, Howell was still battling to get on so I, I was kind of, I was between two, I was between two minds I was a little bit indecisive in that last final kilometre because uh, you don't really know like when, when a guy like Howell comes across you have to kind of lean on him uh, if he's gonna be the strongest rider you have to lean on him but because he came across um, you know and it was only like 900 meters to go it's difficult to like create uh, multiple winning scenarios in your head when you're under pressure like that with the group behind only like five seconds behind or something You've got to make quick decisions. Um, I kept drilling it because you realise that, like, with five, six hundred, with six, seven hundred meters to go, 
you know you're in a little bit of a better position to gamble. So that's what I did. I waited just a, a tad to kind of slip to the back of the group. And then that's where um, uh, I kind of waited for a couple of seconds before uh, our mate went for it early. I jumped on his wheel and then I tried to uh, I tried to launch early, uh, but you know Howell, yeah Howell was like you know onto it straight away. So um, there's my breakaway of the volcano. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the finish. I don't know what the finish. My attack there couldn't have been you know that good. It must have been between here and here I'd imagine but it wasn't like a it doesn't have to be like a shredding attack when you're that far into a race like an hour and a half into a race it doesn't have to be like a personal best to to to, to make the attack work it just needs to be good enough um, to get across you know uh, it's all about that fatigue fatigued effort fatigue resistance so yeah nice one thanks everyone Niels is off to watch the F1 I'm off to have some food um, and edit these videos and uh, put my feet up I think because the Giro will be starting today and we're not going to go outside, so that is that. Yeah, nice one, Zach. It's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Looking forward to analysing my effort from earlier. Thanks guys, appreciate it.